What's up guys, I'm just recording this after I've, uh, after I've recorded all of the video. I really hope that the video today isn't boring at all. I'm feeling really groggy today. Um, couldn't sleep much last night. It was my birthday yesterday as you know. So I had a really busy day with family over and stuff. I'm just playing with a rosy boy now. I'll put the video out there anyway, but I just thought I'd let you know that I'm sorry if it's boring or anything like that. I just hope you've you've learned something and actually got some entertainment value out of it. So thanks guys. What is going on my dudes and dude acts? Showing you with SNS Serpentarium. I'm joining you today with my mid bar hall rosy boa, Lichnora Sasloi. Before we get into the video today, I just want to tell you that soon I'll be doing a series on these guys covering everything from buying your first snake as a uh, as a baby right the way through to breeding and localities I'm gonna teach you each step how to grow them on the best covering everything that you guys want to know so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and at the end of this video I'm gonna just show real quick what they look like when they're roaming around doing their own thing so make sure you watch that watch it until the end if you want to see that. Alright then, the topic for today is five reasons why these little guys, rosy boas, make absolute great pets. The first reason then is their size. They're not too large. They get three, four foot as adults, and that is absolute max. Uh, but they're lovely and chunky as well, so they're not they're not small, you know. They they they're a good size really for a, for a pet keeper. So they they donate a great deal of room then, given that um you know they they're happy enough in a three, four foot of viv and they'll they'll do really well for you in that sort of viv. And they're uh, given their size as well. They're an ideal size for handling. The next reason why is they're very docile. They're very slow moving. They, uh, they're calm. They're not trying to dart off or run away. They're happy enough just sitting in your hand like she is. They'll just have a little bit of a look around, a little bit of a roam, slowly move about. And, and they're happy as Larry really doing that. You know, they, they're not going to stress out at all with you handling them like some snakes. They get a little bit upset for these guys absolutely quality really for handling possibly one of the best snakes to handle as far as little snakes go the third reason then they feed in these guys will feed pretty much every time you offer um i've not known one to uh refuse a meal unless they're broommating uh, sometimes the males will skip the odd meal here and there, but normally that's, uh, that's very rare. When they do eat, they put on a real show. They absolutely smash their food. Uh, and you've got to you've got to see one eat to to really appreciate what they uh, what they like. To be honest with you. Fourth reason is they're gorgeous. Look at them. I mean, look at this girl here. She's got those stripes down the back with an orange sort of colour and a pebble dash blue sort of colour. And you can get them in different uh, different forms, lots of different forms out there. You can get Mexicans. You can get uh, coastals. A few different types out there. So um, whatever colour phase you want, there's, there's, a, there's a colour phase for you. There's a few morphs not with knocking around as well like an albino you can get uh, snows anneries colorless different people are line breeding them as well to uh to bring out uh, certain traits like high orange and stuff like that so awesome and the last reason then is because they're not that common they're very underappreciated i've had so many people come to see my collection and they see these and they're like, what the hell is that? They, they, they've never seen one before, you know? I've had pet shops nearby and I've been telling them about these and they've said they've not had them in for 10 years or more. 
they're really not that common at all and and it's a shame really so i think one of these is a really good addition to your to your collection really um definitely sorry for the low energy today guys i'm a little bit tired a little bit groggy but i promise in the next video i'll be much more upbeat now for the last bit i'm just going to show you the rosy roaming about doing his own thing um maybe i'll talk a little bit but i'm not going to talk too much so make sure you smash that subscribe button if you want to see that series and more rosy boy videos drop us a like and destroy that notification bell and i'll see you when my rosy boy is free roaming cheers guys all right then so here's my gorgeous girl doing her own thing in, in some natural light She'll just explore a little bit out here, doing her own thing as uh, as she wants. She'll probably try to burrow in the carpet and then soon realise she can't. She'll probably climb up on uh, on those pipes there. But I'm just gonna put my put my phone down now and just leave leave you watch her without uh, without interruption too much. Yeah, it's, um, it's really good to give these guys an opportunity to exercise now and again. I'm not going to let her go too close to them pipes just because there's probably some dust and nasty stuff there. And I, uh, I don't want her to get anything on her. So yeah, I mean, they're lovely and slow moving. She's, uh, she's not panicking at all being left out here. She's uh, happy enough just plodding along, having a little look around. And I think they're really cute, actually, when they're looking around, to be honest. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll wrap this up here, guys. I don't want the video to be too long. I, I hope it hasn't been boring. As I say, I haven't been feeling myself today. So, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.